Hello, people of St. Paul's and anyone who stops by to see this YouTube video. I have quite a few announcements at this time, things you might want to write down, so I will wait. If you would like to get a pen and a piece of paper, and while you're retrieving those things, also a candle and a lighter and your Bible, should you wish to follow along for the reading. I will pause for a moment while you gather those things. If the pause is not long enough, feel free to pause the video, gather those things, and join us again. You continue to be in my prayers, and I often think of you in each of the circumstances you find yourselves in. Know that you are loved and thought of often. The church office remains open between the hours of 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Tara is at the office. Should you have any questions or inquiries or need anything that we can help you with? Tammy and I are working from home as much as possible, but we are still available just as we were if we would be in the office. Please feel free to call either of us or email or text. We're here for you. We are learning a lot these days and trying new things each time we record and try to make things better for you to hear these videos. We welcome your feedback. Some things are inconsistent, even from one listener to the next. We're not always sure why that is so. Please be patient with us, but we do appreciate your feedback so we know what is going on on your end. Sunday services and these midweek greetings and brief devotional will continue for as long as we are restricted to our homes. Next week will be the exception since we'll be in Holy Week, there will be no message on Wednesday, but there will be a Monday Thursday stripping of the altar with the reading of some Psalms. We will send out emails to let you know when all of these YouTube videos are available. And we are mailing these and our Sunday worship services and sermons to those that we know of without internet access. A couple of things for this coming Sunday. It's Palm or Passion Sunday. I invite you to find a branch of any sort for everyone in your family. Those who waved palms when Jesus rode into Jerusalem just used what was close to them. So I encourage you to use something that is close to you. Please have that ready for worship on Sunday. We also have a pattern of a palm leaf that we will make available for your children to color or yourself and cut out and you can use that if you wish as well. The Monday Thursday recording will be available by 7 p.m. Also for Good Friday, we're going to have a drive-through Stations of the Cross where you will be invited to come and drive through St. Paul's parking lot. You'll begin where you drive into the parking lot. There will be stations spread out around the parking lot so that people can drive in and out. You'll drive in all the way around till behind the garage, turn around over there and then make your way out on the other side. It will take a little bit of time and we'll need to be patient with each other. You are welcome to come with anybody who lives in your household in your vehicle. You will need to stay in your car with your windows up. This is in order to abide by all of the COVID-19 practices and we don't want to violate them. This will be happening between 12 noon and 5 p.m. Come whenever it suits you. This will also incorporate elements from Monday, Thursday and Good Friday. That's why there will not be a full Monday, Thursday service, 
just the stripping of the altar and the reading of some psalms. We can make links available for other places that are offering full services should you not be able to come on Friday. Once again, I invite you to light your candle now for our time of prayer. We'll pause for a few moments as we prepare our hearts and minds for this time of prayer and listening for God. The psalm for this evening is Psalm 31, verses 9 to 16. Psalm 31, verses 9 to 16. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I am the scorn of all my enemies, a disgrace to my neighbors, a dismay to my acquaintances. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. Like the dead, I am forgotten, out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd, fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, Lord. I have said, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Let your face shine upon your servant save me in your steadfast love what is god saying to you in this passage what is god saying to the church in this passage. Let us pray. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Be gracious to us in our distress. We continue to watch as more and more of the world is affected and infected by COVID-19. We pray for all who are sick with this virus or any other illness. We pray for all in fear of getting the virus or spreading it to others. Grant healing and wholeness and peace. We give you thanks for all the frontline workers all medical personnel, from nurses to pharmacists to custodians. We give you thanks for truckers who continue to deliver food and essential goods, for grocery store clerks and those who stock shelves, and for all who work to keep essential places disinfected. Help us 
to be patient in our waiting in our homes so that we keep ourselves and others safe. Help us to reach out where and when we are able to help those who have less than we do. Help us to trust in you, to know that our times are in your hands from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. May God's peace be with you, and we'll see you on this YouTube channel on Sunday.